Hi and welcome in this first video of sequencing Microsoft Office 2010. My name is Ment van der Plas and in this video I'm going to demonstrate you how you have to prepare your sequencing workstation for sequencing Microsoft Office 2010. So to support me in this process I've created a blog post which actually hold all the steps that are needed in this process. Microsoft has delivered a sequencing recipe as well but in my recipe I've automated as much steps as possible. Additionally, I've based my article both on the sequencing recipe from Microsoft, information on TechNet, as well as my own personal experience. So new in Microsoft Office 2010 is the availability of the Office Deployment Kit for AppV. The Office Deployment Kit for AppV enables functionality that has not been available before when Microsoft Office was virtualized. This functionality includes a SharePoint integration, Outlook Fast Search integration, Microsoft Outlook Send To functionality, print directly to Microsoft OneNote, Microsoft Office document indexing, open up web-based calendars and RSS feeds in Microsoft Outlook, and even a virtual mail applet. Now, when it comes to 32-bit versus 64-bit, there are a couple of scenarios that are supported, which are displayed in this table. Now, I'm going to go for the first scenario. So I'm in a full 32-bit environment at this moment which I will show you. So the first thing we need to do is install Microsoft Application Virtualization Sequencer 4.6 on the sequencer machine. So I already did this, as you can see right here. And as you can see, this is the final version of the Application Virtualization Sequencer. So I'm currently running Windows 7, but if you're running on Windows XP, you should install Windows Search 4.0, Microsoft XML Paper Specifications Essential Spec, and the .NET Framework 3.0. But since we are running already on Windows 7, Windows Search and XPS services are installed by default, and you have to check them through Windows Features and Add Remove programs. As you can see right here, Windows Search is enabled and XPS services and XPS viewers are enabled as well. Okay, some other best practices include disabling and stopping the Windows Update service. You can do it through command line, but you can do so as well in the services console. Now normally one of the best practices is disabling Windows Search as well, but since we are explicitly going to target Windows Search as a functionality in Microsoft Office, I'm going to leave that started and running at this moment. The next thing we have to do is install the deployment kit. For the deployment kit there are a couple of installation options. You can either install it for use with KMS activation or you can install it through Mac activation. So if you use KMS activation, you have to tell it which product is actually installing and you have to supply KMS service name and KMS service port. I'm going to use activation through Mac key and I'm going to go for option two here, which is using the PID keys property. So I will be executing this command, MSI exec with the PID keys and the user operations. So user operations tells us if I want to let non-administrators or only administrators activate Microsoft Office. So I'm going to run it from an elevated command line. So the only thing I have to replace between the quotes is the actual product key that belongs to me. So 
So the Microsoft Office 2010 deployment kit for AppV is currently installing. So be sure to close down the command box here. So don't have a command box open during sequencing because I saw some issues when a command prompt was open before sequencing and commands that were executed in that particular command box weren't picked up by the sequencer. So that basically sums up all preparations that need to be done for sequencing Microsoft Office. So be sure to check out my next video for the actual sequencing.